Testing one, two, testing one, two.
Test one, two.
Good afternoon. We are so thrilled to have everyone joining us today for our 133rd commencement exercise. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Let's go cats! Please listen in to 102.1 The Choice or watch our live stream broadcast through the website or YouTube that is available on our front page. Please join us as we listen to our very own reflections sing a pre-recorded national anthem. Please rise if you're able and remove your hats. Please be seated. Welcome, parents, family members, teachers, and honored guests to Alumni Stadium for the Athens Area School District 133rd Commencement Exercise. Before we begin this afternoon, I would like everyone to take a look around and see how amazing our stadium and facilities look. I would like to extend a huge thank you to Mr. Jeff Schrader and his maintenance and custodial staff for the hard work and countless hours they've put in to prepare for today. Thank you. I'd also like to thank my office staff, particularly Mrs. Wells for keeping me sane during graduation week every year. Thank you very much for all your hard work and preparation to make today possible. The class of 2020 has certainly done their due diligence by working extremely hard and putting in great effort so that each of them was able to meet their graduation requirements. This senior class has certainly endured unprecedented and uncharted territory as they complete their high school careers. The senior class graduates this afternoon not as a symbol of the end of the road, but the beginning of the road. A high school diploma merely opens many doors for our students to begin their careers. This diploma is a symbol of their hard work and each of their support systems along the way, the outstanding educators that have been placed in front of them and the deep support we receive from family, friends, and the community. They are now college and career ready and eager to begin their post-secondary journey. They are involved in so many aspects of our district and have definitely lived the Wildcat way. We could not be prouder of a group of individuals. Our seniors are overcomers. They have navigated and prevailed during one of the most challenging times in our history. There is no doubt in my mind 
that the graduates seated before you today will use this event to define and shape who they are and who they will become as our future leaders. Please join me in a thunderous round of applause to congratulate the class of 2020. It is a pleasure to introduce our administrative team that are in attendance and some that are not today that would be no with us under normal conditions. Mr. John B. Sullivan, Director of Athletics. Mr. Brendan Hitchcock, Business Manager. Mr. Ryan Wilcox, Middle School Assistant Principal. Mr. Peter Henning, Elementary School Principal. Mr. John Toscano, Elementary School Principal. Mr. Craig Stage, Superintendent of Schools. Ms. Jenny Shores, Director of Human Resources. Mr. Stephen Boyce, my right-hand man, high school assistant principal. Mr. James Schmeg, middle school principal. Ms. Jamie Schuler, Director of Curriculum and Instruction. Mr. Eric Cummings, Director of Special Services. Mr. Pat Barrett, Athens Area School District Solicitor. I would also like to recognize our board members, some who are on the field with us today and some who are in the stands, and thank them for making this graduation for the class of 2020 possible. Mr. John Johnson, school board president. Mrs. Lisa Braun, Mr. Chris Jones, Mr. Lonnie Stethers, Mr. John Cheriznowski, Mrs. Kathy Jo Minnick, Mr. Jamie Westbrook, Mr. Charles Frisbee, Mr. Kevin Rood, and also our board secretary, Christine Middlecamp. Let's give a shout out to our high school Wildcat family, faculty, staff, and students who are here in spirit and listening in. Ladies and gentlemen, at the conclusion of each group of 50 graduates receiving their diploma, they will then be asked to move their tassel from right to left, signifying they've met all requirements for graduation from Athens Area School District. We will then ask that the families and guests exit the stadium the same way they entered to allow the next group of 50 graduates guests to enter and prepare to watch their child receive their diploma. Thank you for your patience and understanding as we try a new commencement exercise and make this a very special and memorable moment for our seniors. Following graduation, the students only will return to Lynch Lawn where they will receive all their certificates and awards and leave campus. To follow social distancing guidelines, we ask that no one other than the graduates go to Lynch. Please listen to the Choice 1021, the stadium speakers, and the live stream for cues on when to move to the next staging area. At this time, I would like to introduce our school board president, Mr. John Johnson, and welcome him to the podium to give congratulations to our graduates. This is on. On behalf of the board, I uh, would like to welcome all the guests, family, friends, and graduates. Um, graduates, awesome job. Congratulations. Uh, really look forward to hearing about your successes with your future, and good luck. I would now like to introduce and welcome Mr. Craig Stage, Superintendent of the Athens Area School District to the podium to give congratulations to the graduate and introduce our special guest speaker today. Welcome everyone. I'm gonna keep it brief. In a world of challenges and difficulties, you need to find hope. And what I see in the class of 2020 is a world full of hope right behind me. Congratulations. I have the distinct pleasure to introduce Representative Tina Pickett.
そのうちさそのスポンサーしますからね。どうぞ。Thank you very much. Greetings, graduating Athens High School seniors of 2020. Parents, families, administration, and teachers. I'm honored by the opportunity to join you here today as we celebrate your extraordinary achievement. And it is truly extraordinary. As all of you have had to overcome some very unique challenges to earn the diplomas you are receiving here today. I think it's safe to say that no other class in the history of this high school has experienced anything remotely like it. Be assured that Pennsylvania is very proud of each of you. We're proud of your many talents. We're excited to welcome each of you to the many opportunities that await you. Today is a day to celebrate. Your experience at Athens High School has helped shape you, and I would argue, surely strengthened you. You have achieved many things during your high school careers, whether it's academic, technical, education, sports, theater, or all of the above. You made a commitment to doing your very best to learn and to grow and to prepare yourselves for personal and professional success in the future. Even those classes that made you ask yourself, when am I ever going to use this? Well, they matter too. It's true, you may never use things like trigonometry or statistics again. I can't tell you the last time I did. But you still met that challenge. I need that page. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I knew he'd be to the rescue, too. You will find, as you travel down this path called life, that even in adulthood, you sometimes have to do things you don't want to do, things that seem pointless or unimportant. But there's something to be said for mastering those skills anyway. You will often be surprised at where they land you. This demonstrates you have an open mind for learning, that you have the self-discipline to focus on a task, a task that doesn't really spark your interest or fit with a skill set that you believe you're going to need in life. Rest assured, you will be calling on those skills more than you think. As you now put your high school years behind you, I encourage you to be open to what lies ahead. The challenges will be many, but for certain, the opportunities abound. It's only in experiencing things that challenge us that we find a sense of joy and accomplishment. Life is best lived outside of your comfort zone. In a place that forces you to stretch yourself and push yourself to continue learning new things, meeting new people, and fostering new opportunities. I'd like to close with some thoughts about citizenship, public service, and politics. Please, I encourage each and every one of you to be active, be engaged in our communities, in our commonwealth, and in our country. We need you. We need to apply you to apply what you've learned here at Athens High School and continue educating yourself about the issues and the challenges that we all face. We need you. We need you to be ready, to be willing, and to be able to engage in conversation about your beliefs and your opinions in such a way that you can hear people, people who disagree with you, and you'll still be okay with that. That doesn't mean that, shouldn't be, that you shouldn't be passionate about your beliefs 
and fight for what you think is right. But we all must do so in a way that is respectful of the people who are just as passionate about beliefs that, that may be the opposite of our own. It's not easy, but it's important for the future, for your future. I wish you nothing but the best success as you begin this next chapter of your lives. Enjoy every day. Make time for the people you love. Ask for help when you need it. Be a helper when others need it. No one can go. It all, and always remember to live life to its fullest. Congratulations to the Athens Area High School Class of 2020. And I thank you for allowing me to be here today to say a few words, and I hope you are inspired. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Pickett. At this time, I am pleased to recognize the salutatorian of the class of 2020. The distinction of salutatorian is awarded to the student who has achieved the second highest grade point average in the senior class at the end of their high school career, and who will also have the honor of giving this afternoon's welcome address. Please recognize Lauren Annalise Walter, the salutatorian of the class of 2020. Please come forward to receive your medallion. Good afternoon and welcome to the graduation ceremony that almost wasn't. I am thrilled to be surrounded by our astounding school board, our incredible administration, our marvelous teachers and staff, our extraordinary friends and family, and most of all, my phenomenal classmates. 13 years of hard work has led up to this point. Through a flood, through schools closing, through mold, through a worldwide pandemic, but we survived. On behalf of the class of 2020, thank you for joining us in our celebration. As I stand here in what will undoubtedly become one of the most memorable moments of my life, I would like to reflect on a moment in my childhood of equal significance. The first time I played Mario Kart. No, I'm not being serious. Then again, there is a surprising amount of value in learning how to play a simple racing game. There I was, eight years old, a Nintendo DS in my hand, ready to fail miserably at a game my friend was introducing to me. I was no good at video games, and my opponent, unfortunately, was well practiced in the uh, fine art of the cart. I was doomed. But you know what? I wanted to play, so play I did. Three, two, one, and my thumb was on the accelerate button, launching me into my first ever race. My fingers mashed buttons like crazy in an attempt to dodge obstacles to get ahead. One, two, three, the laps went by and suddenly I was across the finish line. Fourth place. My friend got first, but I didn't care. I got fourth place. That's good. I did good. You might be wondering why getting fourth place in a video game is of any significance. Well. 
It was not just the first race. It was the thousands of races that followed. I started out bad, but it was enjoyable anyway. I kept playing. I wasn't curing cancer or ending wars, but I was getting better at Mario Kart. And here I am now, thousands of races later. I am by no means the best, but I've come a long way, and it was a fun journey. Trivial or not, it is something to be proud of. Take this attitude and apply it to life. Every day you have the opportunity to try new things or expand upon the skills you already have. In today's world, there is constant pressure to be the best at something, but it's okay to just do things for you. Don't worry about stunning the world on your first try. In fact, you don't have to worry about stunning the world at all if you don't want to. Just try. Give that first race a shot, and don't concern yourself with the finish line. Concern yourself with the act of doing. Let go. Have fun. No matter what destination you eventually land on, make the journey worth it. Thank you. <laughs> Due to our circumstances, the AAHS band is unable to play this afternoon for us, but I would ask that our band director and senior band members stand to be recognized as I call your name. Director, Mr. Gabriel Wagaman. Seniors, Mallory Bauck, Cassidy Chandler, Denver Garris, Tivin Ligori, Thomas McDonald, Eve Martin, Emily Mustard, Ryan Wagnitz, and Lauren Walter. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you. At this time, I am pleased to recognize the valedictorian of the class of 2020. The valedictorian is awarded to the student who has achieved the highest grade point average in the senior class at the end of their high school career. Please recognize our valedictorian, Lauren Antoinette Neville, as she will come to the podium to give the senior address to the class of 2020. Lauren, please come forward to receive your medallion. Five days, 12 weeks, and nearly three months. That's the quantitative measure of how long it has been since we, the seniors, last gathered together on these grounds. It's funny how time works. We know it as seconds, minutes, days, you get it. But sometimes I cannot help but feel like there is no way to quantifiably measure how time passes. If you ask any of us about our time spent here, we'll probably say something along the lines of, gosh, it feels like just yesterday when we all showed up here for our first day of high school. Nerves, excitement, indifference. We all felt it differently. Now tell me, how is it that four years of high school flew by? 
but these last three months seem to have passed in slow motion. March 13th seemed to have been ages ago. At the time, it seemed like a small blessing. Two weeks off of school? Yes, please. Two more? Okay, I guess. Then we learn that we won't ever have another real day of high school again. Who would have thought that our last real physical day of high school would be a random Friday in March? I guess there's no predicting a global pandemic. I remember a time last year when we were all juniors where we were all jumping for glee because we got a week off school for mold. That was a major setback in the eyes of our teacher. We had to pick up the pace for a little while to make up for that lost time. How naive we were. Mold break was just a side quest to help prepare us for the boss battle, quarantine. We Zoomed with our teachers and classmates, filling the awkward silence with talks of Tiger King and how long our hair is getting. Quite frankly, I'm glad Mr. Mosier was finally able to get that haircut he's always talking about. But when I see this pandemic, and the experience as a whole, I see proof of how resilient our generation is. I'm sure we've all seen a variation of the viral Facebook post honoring the class of 2020 that says something along the lines of, class of 2020, brought into the world in the wake of 9-11, graduating during a global pandemic. Sounds kind of cryptic to me, like we are the children of crisis, but in reality, we are a generation skilled at adapting. We have been exposed to so much in our short lives, more than I could ever reference in a speech. When I turn and look at my classmates, I see proof of our strength. I see students who lost their last sports season, their prom, their spring breaks, their state competitions, and more. But we are still here on this field. We still got our high school graduation. 13 years of homework, projects, and tests did not go to waste. We still stand here on our alumni field, just like the classes before us, where we are honored for our persistence and success. I know getting this far has been difficult for so many of us. I heard your cries when we thought we would lose graduation along with everything else. But we are still here. We are seen, we are honored, and we are not done yet. After today, we are off to college, the military, trade school, the workforce, and more. Our impact is here and now, and we are just getting started. Thank you. Honored guests, faculty, parents, and friends, I congratulate the 147 students in the class of 2020 who have met all requirements necessary for graduation. At this time, the class of 2020 would be pleased to recognize our alumni who are present here this afternoon. Would the graduates of Athens High School SRU High School and Athens Area High School, please feel free to clap, cheer, blow your horns, give us a hoop and holler to be recognized for your outstanding support and dedication to your alma mater. We are proud to share this afternoon's celebration with you as we recognize and honor our seniors' accomplishments. Thanks to the generous and unselfish benefactors in our committee and surrounding communities, we are able to award in excess of $200,000 a year to our graduates in awards and scholarships as they pursue their plans after high school. Without these scholarships and awards, many of our students would not be able to continue into the career of their choice. Graduates, please stand if you've received an academic scholarship, monetary award, or extracurricular award. You may be seated. 
We know there are many opportunities the class of 2020 will have in front of them. At this time, we would like to recognize our graduates' post-secondary plans. All those students attending a four-year college, university, two-year college, trade or technical school, please stand at this time. Thank you. Those who will be serving in our military. Thank you. And those entering the workforce. Thank you. We wish you all the best of luck in whatever your endeavors and know you will make your fellow Wildcats, parents, and community proud. Presenting the Class of 2020 Diplomas this afternoon will be Athens Area School District Superintendent, Mr. Craig Stage, and School Board President, Mr. John Johnson. Mrs. Cheryl Stropko, our National Honor Society Advisor, will also be presenting those students that are in National Honor Society with their NHS honor stools as they miss their annual ceremony in March. The senior class will have their photograph done by professional photographer, Mr. Jim Smith. Athens Area School District will provide each graduate with an eight by 10 photo, and you may order additional photos if you would like from Smith Photography. Thank you for your cooperation. Class of 2020, please prepare to receive your diploma. Gracie Ray Adams. Miles Jacob Allen. Logan James Alloy. Sierra Rose Ardry. Tyler James Armitage. Joseph Thomas Howard Arnold.
Lucas Gabriel Arnold. Zachary William Babcock. Christina Ann Bard. Not with us today, graduate Emily Carolyn Barlow. Haley Renee Barry. <laughs> Megan Renee Bennett. Brendan Matthew Bistanic. Benjamin Jeffrey Biles. Mallory Francis Bauk. Corey David Bowman. Corey Matthew Bazo Keegan Andrew Braun Kyle William Brown Maya Marie Buck Isaac Weston Calhoun Emily Elizabeth Canavan. Margaret Elizabeth Brody Carroll. Adriana Brooke Carter. Haley Mapes Chambers. Cassidy Nicole Chandler. Evan Thomas Chilson Jenna Elizabeth Collins
Dylan Charles Comstock. Ava Elizabeth Connor. Jake Riley Carino. Trevor Lee Costin. Michael Robert Craig. Caleb Michael Kramer. Bailey Michelle Dacos. Congrats. Joseph Amel Davis. Not joining us today, graduate Strawberry Brooke Dintz. Skyler Glenn Dolan. Dustin Lee Ellis. Cheyenne Autumn Evans. Seth Daniel Falky. Lucas Morgan Fleming. Hannah Rose Forbes. Keanu Thomas Forbes. Mackenzie Renee Fowler. Haley Nicole Frisbee. Caden Daniel. Gary Reinbold. Denver Tyler Garris. Lauren Antoinette Neville. Yeah. 
Lauren Annalise Walter. With the 50 graduates' names I just called, please stand. As principal, I hereby certify that the previously named students have completed all the requirements necessary to receive a diploma from the Athens Area High School and are entitled to all the privileges and opportunities it may bring. Class of 2020, please signify this certification by moving your tassels from right to left. And let's give these graduates some applause and appreciation for their willingness to make it to the finish line. We will now ask that the families who are with us exit the stadium through the Frederick Street entrance to allow those graduates of the guests 51 through 100 to enter on 3rd Street and prepare to watch their child receive their diploma. If you're on 3rd Street, just wait a moment. We will make an announcement and ask that you please enter 3rd Street, come in the bleachers, sit on a blue X in the grandstands, and please follow the request of our local officers as they help get you ready to see your child receive their diploma. We would now ask if you have a graduate in group 51 through 100 that you please enter the 3rd Street entrance and have a seat in the bleachers. Thank you.
Testing.
Good afternoon. We welcome our guests to Alumni Stadium for the 133rd commencement exercise. Let's hear it for these graduates. We are proud to share this afternoon's celebration with you as we recognize and honor our seniors' accomplishments. Thanks to the generous and unselfish benefactors, our committee and surrounding communities, we are able to award in excess of $200,000 a year to our graduates in awards and scholarships as they pursue their plans after high school. Without these scholarships and awards, many of our students would not be able to continue into the career of their choice. Graduates, please stand if you've received an academic scholarship, monetary award, or extracurricular award. Thank you. We know there are many opportunities the class of 2020 will have in front of them. At this time, we would like to recognize our graduates' post-secondary plans. Graduates, if you're attending a four-year college or university, two-year college, trade, or technical school, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Those who will be serving in our military. And those entering the workforce. Thank you. We wish you all the best of luck in whatever your endeavors and know you will make your fellow Wildcats, parents, and community proud. Presenting the class of 2020 diplomas this afternoon will be Athens Area School District Superintendent, Mr. Craig Stage, and School Board President, Mr. John Johnson. Mrs. Cheryl Stropko, National Honor Society Advisor, will also be presenting those students that are in National Honor Society with their NHS honor stools as they missed their annual National Honor Society ceremony in March. In your class, will have their photograph done by professional photographer, Mr. Jim Smith. Athens Area School District will provide each graduate with an eight by 10 photo, and you may order additional photos if you would like from Smith Photography. Thank you for your cooperation. Class of 2020, please prepare to receive your diploma. Shauna Ray Geiger. Emily Victoria Geis. Allison May George.
Abigail Gefeisman. Nathan James Goresline. Brennan Michael Grady. Amber Ellis Grazel. Rebecca Louise Marie Greeno. Denver Michael Hatch. Logan Patrick Hatch. Kylie Ray Heinzelman. Autumn Nicole Henley. Not with us today, graduate Charles Robert Henley. Matthew Thomas Hetherington. Daniel Luke Hill. Not with us today, graduate Wade Millard Hoffman. Damian Kane Hudson. Christina Lavon Eilif. Jocelyn Nicole Jackson. Griffin David Jacobson. Travis Aaron Jane. Kess Mackenzie Johnson. Oscar Samuel Johnson. Madison Lee Joslin. Barry Harrison Keen. Haley Nicole Kennedy. Noah 
McCarrick Kingsley. Aaron James Kenny. Lily Ellen Kinsman. Aaron Daniel Lane. Not joining us today, Brandon Joseph Lee. Tivin Anthony Ligori. Aaron Cole McBride. Abigail Marie Maffei. Krista Helen Manning. Samantha Lynn Markle. Colin James Martin. Eve Alexandra Martin. Joel Thomas Maslin. Mercedes Elizabeth Matthews. Alexis Ray McDermott. Thomas James McDonald. Maximus Glenn Mickley. Harley Faith Miller. Tanya Elizabeth Miller. Chase Kenneth Minnick. Jonathan Joseph Meisner. Ashton Marie Moody. Jocelyn Lee Murray. Emily Nicole Mustard.
Graduates, if I just called your name, please stand. As principal, I hereby certify that the previously named students have completed all the requirements necessary to receive a diploma from the Athens Area High School and are entitled to all privileges and opportunities it may bring. Class of 2020, please signify this certification by moving your tassels from right to left and let's give these guys some love. We appreciate you joining us today, and we'll now ask that our graduates' guests exit the stadium on the Third Street entrance the same way you came in to allow our last group of guests to enter the stadium and prepare to see their child receive their diploma. If you're waiting on Frederick Street to come in, please wait a few moments for an announcement and we'll ask you to enter the stadium. When you do come in the stadium, we ask that you sit in the bleachers. There are blue X's spaced six feet apart. Thank you. We would last ask that our last group of guests please enter Alumni Stadium at this time on Frederick Street. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone. We welcome our guests to Alumni Stadium for the 133rd commencement exercise. Let's hear it for our graduates. We appreciate you all being in attendance with us today. And we're proud to share this afternoon's celebration with you as we recognize and honor our seniors' accomplishments. Thanks to the generous and unselfish benefactors and our committees and surrounding communities, we are able to give an award in excess of $200,000 a year to our graduates in awards and scholarships as they pursue their plans after high school. Without these scholarships and awards, many of our students would not be able to continue in the career of their choice. Graduates, please stand if you received an academic scholarship, monetary award, or extracurricular award. Thank you. We know there are many opportunities the class of 2020 will have in front of them. At this time, we would like to recognize our graduates' post-secondary plans. Graduates, if you're attending a four-year college or university, two-year college, trade, or technical school, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Those who will be serving in our military, Thank you. And those graduates entering the workforce. Thank you. Graduates, we wish you all the best of luck in whatever your endeavors and know you will make your fellow Wildcats, parents, and community proud. Presenting the class of 2020 diplomas this afternoon will be Athens Area School District Superintendent, Mr. Craig Stage, and School Board President, Mr. John Johnson. Mrs. Cheryl Strapko, National Honor Society Advisor, will also be presenting those students that are Honor Society with their NHS stoles as they miss their annual NHS ceremony in March. The senior class will have their photograph done by professional photographer, Mr. Jim Smith. Athens Area School District will provide each graduate with an 8x10 photo. You may order additional photos if you would like from Smith Photography. Thank you for your cooperation. Class of 2020, please prepare to receive your diploma. Isabel Catherine Menard. Mackenzie Autumn Nichols. Not walking today, graduate Michael Philip Nichols. Matthew Ryan Novikoski. And Keitha Karen Pamela. Austin Kevin Parrish.
Matthew Christopher Paul. Emily Jean Pennison. Cassidy Ray Peterson. Abigail Page Plaus. Megan Marie Porter. Avery Madeline Reese Priester. Connor Reese Pritchard. Isabella Maria Roberts. Keegan James Rude. All right, buddy. You're good, man. David Thomas Sheftick. Madison Lynn Schultz. Andrew Russell Shea. Divine Simbajon. Abigail May Sindoni. Mackenzie Jade Slater. Aaron Lowell Smith. Brady Stephen Smith. Jennifer Ann Summers. Cassidy Owen Stackpole. Carson Patrick Stanfield. Bobby D. Marie Stedge. Jonathan Perry Stevens. Jesse Reed Sumner. Samuel James Swetland. Josiah Gerald Talladay. Thomas 
John Toscano. Zoe Mina Valentine. Russell Willis Vanderpool. Kayla Marie Van Dyke. Douglas Victor Bosberg. Ryan Elizabeth Wagnitz. Brennan Allen Warner. Derek Matthew Wayman. Ashley Ella Wells. Alex James West. Alexis Jane Westerfield. Elizabeth Irene Widrig. Nicholas Edward Woodard. Evan Patrick Risley. McKenna Marie Yakel. Connor Andrew Young. Graduates, if I just called your name to receive your diploma, please stand. As principal, I hereby certify that the previously named students have completed all the requirements necessary to receive a diploma from the Athens Area High School and are entitled to all privileges and opportunities it may bring. Class of 2020, please signify this certification by moving your tassels from right to left. And let's hear it for these graduates.
Thank you. You may be seated. It is my honor this afternoon to introduce Isabel Menard, who will give the Class of 2020 Farewell Address. comes to a close, I have a few minutes in which I can offer some thanks and closing words to my classmates. Who would have thought a pandemic, social distancing, and group testing would have been a thing? Turns out, it only took a pandemic to boost the average GPA. As I spent my quarantine days scrolling through post after post, as I'm sure most of us have, one day, a word popped into my mind, resilience. Resilience is the power or ability to return to the original form, position, etc., after being bent or compressed. Our class, whose story began in the shadow of 9-11, has grown up in a world in which we can only imagine an America not plagued with the constant fear of terrorism. We have experienced the of 2008, the flood of 2011, mass school shootings, just to name a few. Of all of these events have been a part of our journey, shaping who we are today. So when a global pandemic unfolded, every aspect of our daily lives, we quickly wanted to continue our education virtually where Zooming once meant to speed back from OC to not be late to class, we now Zoom to learn, hang out, and of course, group test. We have demonstrated the power we behold to face uncertainty with unwavering strength. Despite our generation being portrayed as disconnected from the world, ironically, the pandemic has shown just how connected we really are. Many generations are defined by global events. Baby boomers are typically defined by the end of the war. I can only hope our generation will be defined by our resilience. To my classmates, as we close this chapter of our lives, I know each and every one of you will continue to remain resilient during times of uncertainty and go forward with the same daunting courage as you face the unknown. I would like to take this time to extend a very special thank you to my parents for their constant support and all the teachers who helped me throughout my academic journey. A special thank you to Mrs. Bronson for nurturing the future chemist in me and the positive friendship that helped me through challenging times. Another special thank you to Mrs. Evans for always keeping me grounded and never failing to be the highlight of my day. A last thank you to all who came out to support in person or virtually due to the virus. Members of the class of 2020, may the years you spent at Athens Area High School serve you well as you strive to achieve your goals and reach the best life has to offer. Remember to take time to celebrate your accomplishments and grow in your attempts. Do the best job you are capable of every day and live a life filled with passion and compassion for the things you hold most sacred. Our blessings to you for a future rich with opportunities, success, and happiness. I ask our graduates at this time to please stand as they will lead us in the singing of the alma mater.
Class of 2020, hats off to you. We thank you all for joining us today. You are welcome to leave the stadium. Our graduates will be stopping over at Lynch. Again, only our graduates to pick up their diploma packets. Thank you again for joining us today and good luck to the class of 2020.